welcome back to another episode of Chasing the Dream on All Missouri. So we've already done one contract today. I actually need to turn the time up. Uh, but yeah, we're making some nice little pay. We're sitting at around 240. The other con, excuse me, the other contract was 21,000. I think this one's about 15, 16. Gonna put a little money in the lime, I think, like we did on the other field, which just realizes I collected the contract on that field right next to us, and now the lime's gone. That was a quick turnaround, uh, but yeah, so we've got some slurry. I took those silage bales, uh, put those in our mini BGA as well going to try to pump that up. I'm going to make a purchase after this. We're going to buy a new mower set. So I think we'll buy something that we can hook onto the front and back of this. Maybe make it a little bit easier to mow. Uh, I like our disc mine, but it's time to upgrade, I think. Every chance we kind of can. You know, if there's a way to do it, let's do it. But other than that, things are going good. Like I said, we're starting to make some income. I want to make sure we have over 200 grand to purchase a field after harvesting season. You know, if we could take away the lease that we have on that one field, it would be great. But, ideally, I mean, there's a field across the road from us that we were talking about last episode. So I think that's a possibility if we get enough. You know, maybe the other thing we need to do is really start putting down a chunk on the loan. Paying a chunk of that off. Before the interest really starts getting to us. So just stuff to think about as we uh, progress here on Chasing the Dream. I mean, I think this is episode 18 now. Yeah, I believe it's episode 18. So we're moving right along. You all have been great at supporting this. Uh, some of you are sharing this content, which I greatly appreciate. I get a lot of feedback from guys like Pleasant View Farms, uh, Sim Station, Mark Thor. So, it's always nice to know that it's not going unnoticed. And, you know, getting that feedback too. You got to learn from the mistakes, the errors, stuff like that. So... Which is a lot, of, a lot of what goes on with farming sometimes as well. Not jinxing myself, but since we've updated, I believe this is the third iteration of the update by Stellabuki on Alma. All is going well. Uh, peas harvested well as well last episode, so pretty cool to do those. Probably should get an actual machine that's designed for peas. And looks like we're going to have to run to town and go get some more lime. Yep, right at the corner. So I made two passes and we... Uh, not even a full two passes. So I'll run back to town and see y'all in a bit. Alright, so we just finished liming this field. It's 12.30 now. Uh, let's go collect on that. The rest of them all bailing contracts still. It's amazing how those bailing contracts will stay on there all year. So there we go. Up to 277,000. Not bad. Got some lime left over. I mean, not a bad sized field. It just took us a little longer driving all the way to town with this. And then kind of waiting to get some lime. Being a tiny little co-op, it takes it a minute. So. But we are done that. I don't think I'm going to watch. Uh, yeah. I think we should give both a quick spray down the pressure washer. And then we will go pick up. But we should technically purchase it first. But our new mower set. And we'll bring the... 
this bind down there and sell that. So, should uh, make mowing a little bit easier, even though the disc bind is not hard using. So, but we got a smaller field up here. Now that we have the mini VGA, like I said, we'll pull this in here. Get plenty of gas. So that shouldn't be a problem. Did most of our maintenance in the early spring. Actually, I'll wash this first. But no. So it's nice when you get some decent contracts out there price wise. You know, now that we're getting a lot of our own equipment, we don't have to go through another contractor to do it. Clean all that out, even though there's some in there. Alright, let's get this baby cleaned off. It doesn't have to be perfect, but... I think I'm just gonna put this down here next to these for now. Do need to start moving some pumpkins around in a little bit too. I know those are greenhouses are pretty full right now and not the time to sell. We could. I think we make like 23, 24 grand, but maybe I'll get some more down the road. Alright, so I'll grab that disc mine and then we'll Trying to figure out what is constantly turning my baler in here. Every time we go in and out of the game, the baler's been moved. Get hooked onto that. And over here, let's make our purchase. Let's go to mowers, where they are. Coon. So I think. Honestly, this one right here will do the job. I mean, it'll be about 30, just under 35 grand. I mean, nothing else really stands out. I like these, but it's a whole nother set of power. You know, 240 for that back. You know, good reach, but now this all, you know, 8.3. We'll be fine. So let's purchase these, right? There we go. So we'll head to the store or dealership. We'll sell this and we'll go from there. See you in a bit. All right, so we're back to the farm. We've got our new mower. Let's get this set up. Excuse me. There we go. This batch, I think we'll uh, turn this all into hay. Will be the easiest option. Ultimately, probably the best option, so we can restock. No, we do have a fair amount actually in that barn for hay, so we could rake this all in put it towards silage which is actually you know what now that I'm thinking about it that's probably what we should be doing we need to get a header for the front or a pickup of our war harvester but now that I think about it yeah that makes a lot of sense 
pretty good on hay. We have a lot of hay. Like I said, it's a silage we kind of burned through, which is why I was questioning whether I should have put the bales in there, but I just kind of wanted to see how well that many BJ goes through the silage bales. How much digestate it'll actually turn out. On top, it creates electricity, methane. All more money in our pockets. And I suppose, worst case scenario, I could always just do a bailing contract again that involves silage wrapping. And there might be some leftover bales. But I'd say this mower is working pretty well. I like it. Just having that extra working with, kind of a big thing. At least for me, that's what I prefer. I like the old fashioned equipment, but sometimes it's nice to just have something that you can get through the jobs so you can get on to the next job. Especially when we're trying to chase a dream and make some money. down and don't know why I hit the worker button but we'll uh, like I said get it mowed and I think we'll get it raked and I think it's just going to be more silage for us. I think that's what we got to really do actually. So you know what we're going to take care of this little section right here too while we're at it. Kind of clean this up a little bit. Needs it, so. Shut them all off. Now we'll come down here and. I always forget that I can use the control B keys to turn on both at the same time after we'll have to rake this up and then we'll do a little bit of forage harvesting like I said we'll get that in the silo I think I removed that tree and it's back Too close to our soybeans. Also, clean this section up as best we can. Oh, there goes a couple soybeans. Didn't want to do that. Oops, almost just did it again. Yeah, it's a pretty low-key episode. Like I said, we made some money on two long contracts, which essentially, when I think about it, they paid for this, and then us selling our disc mine. Let us make a little bit back. We'll just do a loop around our field here, and couple up and down passes probably up here then go back and finish off that large section and we might not do the forge harvest until next episode but it still should be time pending I think we can get this all done in August 2nd I hope we should get a fair amount of silage from this and this should maybe help us next year not have as much silage, or if I decide to plant corn, we'll at least have, you know, corn silage to work with. 
draft silage, whatever you want to call it. But that'll be, I think, the plan. Like I said, right now we got plenty of hay, plenty of straw. Well, straw we kind of like burn through just because it goes on the beds and in the mixes. But I could probably cut it back on the mixes. It would just mean we're going to use up more hay or more silage. So that's the the trade-off there. Like I said, we'll finish this section up before we head back over that way. Shouldn't take too long. So I really want to purchase this too is because you're going to either extend this field and then we'll just have that little section of grass over there which will you know I've only mowed I probably could have mowed this earlier in the year and just been done with it but uh, I don't know I just let it grow to this state you know get a pretty good yield off of it the way I look at it but definitely something to consider is mowing a few more times next year maybe like I said if we were able to purchase this plot of land I might extend the field out to this tree line and we'll just use that meadow in between the field and the brook Cut that one too tight. Or I guess too wide. Yeah, I think we'll start going up the other side of it now. Finish off this. Yeah, what mowers do y'all like using? So there's a lot of good ones out there. Uh I know for most of my survival series, I ended up using the Batwing to start, so it was kind of nice using the Dispine, New Holland. Getting our money's worth out of that. Then now, I actually, thinking about it, this might be the first time I've ever used this mower setup. I'm thinking about it, and I think it is the only time I've ever used it so far. You know, usually we're using, uh, let's go down to mowers. So usually I've got either, I've used the Pottinger, uh, the Vermeer one's not bad, obviously we've used the New Holland, but usually it's the HX20, or... Go all the way down here. The Vicon. Really like the Vicon. That's the one usually you can see me using the most. We'll shut the mowers off for now. We head back down to go finish up that last leg. Okay. Like I said, we don't need to go too crazy. I think we're going to get a pretty good yield. I know I should be a lot stricter, a lot more tentative of getting all we can off this. But we have a small herd for now. And eventually the hay, silage, will go bad. So it's balance, right? Yeah. I am liking this more. That's already pretty, pretty quick to go around and do all this. Just having that wider work with makes a difference. We'll come through here, mow this up. And like I said, I think our plan is we need to go buy the forage harvester head for the grass pickup. And then we'll get this all into silo and fermented. So we'll have more silage for the winter. I think we are, I mean, we might be, I'd have to look, 
We are getting down there. I think we're definitely under 200,000 now left in the silo. Let's take a quick gander. Yeah, 127,000 liters. So it's actually dropped quite a bit more than I thought. So we will uh, probably shouldn't have used those silage bales, but it's all right. We're going to get plenty of silage now from all our field edges. Probably do one more pass on the headlands here and then should be able to go up and down after that. Yeah. This will be. So that's a nice little upgrade for us. You know, it's nothing crazy from the bank. You know, not excessive spending with it. And it's just, you know, it's a practical thing to upgrade. Almost wish I had actually like a pull behind trailer for the silage. Then I could just follow the harvester around, but it's alright. Well, we're gonna go back this way. I think this is the way we'll run it. Get out here, rake everything up. Nice windrow. Make it easy, like I said, for the harvester. But yeah, pretty, I'd say, chill episode. I know most of it's me talking and driving around. But, like I said, this was a focus that I started thinking about that we needed to maybe upgrade. And I'm all on board for it. Because it's already saved us a bit of time. And effort. I mean, it's August 2nd. And, you know, now this might make it a little easier to start mowing more often. Might be even easier if we get a hired worker for it. So we will take what we can get. Finishing up this last little bit. Like I said, we'll uh, figure out the harvester. Pretty sure that has a, the one we have has a pickup to it. Even for grass. I can't really think if there's any other meadows we could cut into. If I do control X, does that lift them? Oh, yes. Look at that. That's beautiful. Does not do... Wanted to lift the front. There we go. But... Yeah, until next time. Thanks for watching. As always, Farmer Taz out.